Yes, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Young Money Investing and my Sunday afternoon weekly technical analysis. Really quickly, there's three weeks left in this year. I have set a goal to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you know anybody that would, you know, kind of like this, this type of video and this kind of information that I present, please, please, please um, share my channel. I only need 30 more subscribers and we have three weeks to do it. Um, that's only 10 per week. I think that's completely feasible. So um, if you guys, you know, if you appreciate me and the content that I'm putting out, um, please, 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 if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. And if you know anybody that you think would appreciate my content, tell them to, to subscribe too. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the charts. Now we are starting off on a daily time frame for the Dow Jones Industrial. Um, kind of getting that sideways action that I was talking about, you know, after this kind of parabolic move, um, kind of cooled off a little bit. You can see I have this green kind of supply zone drawn out here. Uh, we are kind of respecting it right now. Looks like we're penetrating it a little bit on that last candle on Friday the 9th. Um, so, you know, we might we might come down to the bottom here. We might come back down to this trend line or this 200 moving average. Um, either way, I think that would be a phenomenal place to um, kind of start eyeballing some long positions and some long trades going in a bullish direction. Um, so just kind of keep an eye on that. Other than that, really not too much going on. Um, we'll jump over to the NASDAQ. Um, NASDAQ is still just moving sideways. Looks a little bit like the Russell right now. Um, we went up, we went sideways, we went up, we went down. Um, just kind of trapped. It looks like we had a nice little bounce on Thursday off of our blue line, our 50 moving average, and then came back up to our 20 moving average and got rejected off of that. So just kind of a little bit of you know, not really sure what's going on. Um, not really sure if the buyers or the sellers are in control of the market. Even coming down here, looking at the MACD, I mean, even even this momentum indicator has no idea who's in charge. So um, if you're trading the NASDAQ, I would at this point in time, keep it largely intraday, um, not really targeting any large swing trades, um, and especially not until either of these moving averages gets broken. Um, Personally, and this is a personal opinion, not financial advice, don't misconstrue it. I think we are going to break the 20 to the upside, come back in, touch our trend line somewhere around maybe 12, 100, 12, 200, um, and then reject back off. That's my personal opinion. We'll jump to the, uh, the Russell that I just mentioned. Russell does look like we came back up to the top of our channel and we are kind of making our way back down. Currently finding some support on our 50 moving average. Uh, if we break through that, then I would definitely expect us to come back down to this 1655 level where the bottom of our channel is. Um, and at that point, you know, who knows? We might continue to go down. You might see just this really massive, awful sell off. Um, you might might find some support and kind of bounce and take it back up. Um, I really couldn't tell you, but at this point in time, it does look like um, the Russell is going to head back down about about 8%. So the other thing to keep in mind is we did have... We did have this little trend line going up like this, which you can see we've now broken retested and rejected back off so to me that is quite bearish um like i said i'm definitely expecting it to come back down so um while i'm trading the russell i am going to be mostly looking for you know short positions or bearish positions um until something happens to kind of change my thesis about that really really quick i want to jump over to gold because gold looks like it's about to pop off um had this really nice move up, kind of this nice little U shape into a bullish gap. Kind of, I'm gonna call this a rejection of the 200 because that's kind of what it is. Regained it, we're sitting right on it. I think if we get above the high on this candle, which is 1822.9, so if we get to 1823, um, I would kind of expect gold to move back up possibly to 1950 possibly as high as you know 2000 or somewhere in that range um 
I don't talk about gold all that much. Gold is kind of a slower moving asset most of the time. Um, you really don't get like these crazy parabolic trends, but when gold moves, gold really moves. Now, without further ado, we will jump into my trade of the week. Now I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't really know how to say the name of this company. Um, Technipi FMC PLC, I don't know. Um, the ticker symbol is FTI and we'll go ahead and we'll draw some lines here all right so here's what i'm looking at um you can see we've had a pretty strong move up starting back in july of this year um came from about ooh, what's the open came from about five and a half dollars moved all the way up to about 13. um kind of got trapped in this range just a little bit you can see um, false breakout to the upside, immediate rejection all the way down. What I'm kind of targeting is this 1092, $11 in that vicinity. Um, we have the 50 moving average coming up. We also have a little bit of previous short term resistance over here. So, what I'm looking for is a bounce off of this area, this area right here and i would like to see price action move back up either to our purple line which is our 20 moving average or to our channel and then reject back off and so this is actually a short entry um this is not a long entry so there are some additional considerations while you're shorting um if you've never shorted before please please be smart with your money. Don't do anything stupid. Um, you theoretically have unlimited loss potential if you are going into a short position. Um, so make sure you're being smart and you're not doing dumb things and you're gonna blow up your account. Um, but I am looking for, you know, a bounce off of the 50 back up to this 1150, maybe even $12 range. That would be the entry to go short. And then we're looking for a move down to this level here at about $10 would be the first take profit. And then the second take profit um, would be about $9, which is the second line that I've run out here. So um, that is kind of what I'm looking at is the trade of the week. Let me know what you guys think. If you have taken any of these trades, personally, I think I've only entered two of these trades because the, the entry and the setup um, there was, there was only two that I really liked. Um, one was largely profitable, one was just one loss. So um, if you guys are taking any of these trades, please let me know. This looks like a fairly decent setup to me, um, but like I said, waiting for that bounce off the 50. If we go right through the 50 and just straight down, um, I'm gonna say, you know, better luck next time because that's, that's not an entry that I would personally like. So waiting for that retracement to $11.50, $12. That's the entry. Um, stop loss would of course be above the top of this channel, which is at 12.36. You could also set it above the high, which is, what is the high? Uh, the high is 13.08. So if you set it at like 13.10, um, that should give you fairly decent risk to reward ratios there. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, please, please, please go like, share, and subscribe. I would really like to be at 100 subs by the end of the year. There's only three weeks left. Let's make it happen, people. Um, I wish you all the best of luck in your trades. You guys are awesome. Peace out, homies.